You know what the hardest part about doing daily uploads is? I know a lot of people think it's finding the time to sit down and do all the scripting and video editing or trying to come up with the idea for the video. But for me, <laughs> it's trying to upload a video when you're having a bad day. You see, some of you may or may not know this, but I have ADHD type C which is the worst ADHD you could ever have because I have both inattentive and hyperactivity traits. And a lot of you normally see only one side of my ADHD, but on days when I'm having a bad day, sometimes you tend to see these other um, side effects of my ADHD that start to come out. And it's very, very obvious because of the stark, drastic difference of the change. It's kind of like when you see a photo frame that is just slightly crooked. I don't know how else to describe it. It's just, it's very noticeable. And the other thing about having a bad day is, well, finding the right kind of motivation. Now, that might sound weird because I know for some people when they say they have a bad day, they're usually talking about how, like, you know, they have zero motivation and can't muster up the energy to do anything, which is very valid. And I understand that feeling, but I don't really get like that when I'm having a bad day. You see, I do this weird thing and uh, I'm not sure if this is due to the fact that the other side of my ADHD that I had mentioned earlier, but I'll like... I get kind of lost in my headspace thinking about just very negative things and I'll just hyper focus on them. Kind of like how I'm hyper focusing on this game right now. <laughs> I, I, I have like, I'm really awkward whenever I talk about this kind of stuff. So I like having kind of like a game, whether it's like a steaming game or just, I, I don't know why, but I tend to really like playing horror games when I'm in these kind of moods. I, I know, weird, right? But I like having a game while I talk about this stuff. It kind of helps me. It lets my brain flow through these thoughts a little bit easier. And it's not so like awkward of us just kind of staring at each other. <laughs> and like, okay. I lost my train of thought. I was duped to suck. Too busy focusing on this. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> but like I said, I'll get lost into my headspace thinking about these very negative things. And when I'm hyper focusing on them, I just I get like these little sporadic like mood swings, like these little episodes, so to say. And what I hate about these little episodes is that once I start to get into a certain mindset, it's really difficult for me to climb out of. I describe it to neurotypicals in the most boring and scientific way because a lot of neurotypicals don't understand what it is I'm talking about, which is emotional dysregulation and executive dysfunction to kind of put it into context a bit better. Basically, my brain don't work and it does very weird things and mean things to itself instead of, you know, healthy, normal things. Now, for anyone who's neurodivergent, this is how my brain actually works. Imagine you're walking on this circular staircase that just never ends, kind of like in Kingdom Hearts, at the, like the beginning cutscenes. But instead of you just walking, you end up falling and just tumbling down, constantly just going down and down and down. That's how my brain works when I'm having a bad day. Because once I start hyper-focusing on something bad or negative, it can very quickly lead to this just bad, horrible spiraling. And it's really hard to get out of this mindset. And what really sucks is trying to do things to break that line of thinking, but everything you do just doesn't seem to work. And after many years of therapy and getting help with understanding my ADHD and managing my episodes, because I got diagnosed with ADHD just like, a couple of years or so ago, pretty recently, I never knew I had ADHD. So trying to like unpack a lot of that, like, oh, you mean I'm not lazy and stupid? Oh, 
there's like actually like a scientific oh i get it now i understand my smooth brain <laughs> after kind of going through that whole process what i've come to realize that the biggest reason why i struggle with getting out of this mindset is that i constantly neglect taking care of myself and paying attention to my needs and basically my brain is rebelling and punishing me for it the thing about people who have adhd if you didn't know this is that we tend to neglect the things that our body or our mind needs and a lot of the things that we really need can be different than for most people because we do have things that stimulate us or under stimulates us we do have some sensitivities to some stuff and there are like certain things about the way our brain is wired that doesn't exactly fit into like this one type of mold like you ever just get angry when people are like oh why don't you just stop being so sad and just be happy i used to have this one guy that i would talk to this like um I don't know how to describe I don't know how to describe this person but anytime like he would get upset he'd be like I just stop being sad and just start being awesome which is like great cool for you but that's not how like everything in life works sorry Richie didn't mean to call you out like that <laughs> but like yeah it's this weird thing that I kind of do sometimes where I just don't pay attention to my needs and sometimes, like, I'm not even aware that my body or my mind needs something. Like, I need self-care. And I, I don't realize it until it's too late. Like, I have this, like... <laughs> God, I'm gonna sound so fucking crazy right now. I have, like, this voice in my head that I talk to sometimes. And Okay, and I just want to say that there's nothing wrong with talking to yourself, okay? It, it can be kind of... Uh, embarrassing when people walk in when you're talking to yourself and they're like what are you doing mari i'm like oh nothing i'm just yapping to the void but okay yes i have a voice in my head that i talk to sometimes i think anyone who has an inner monologue in their head when thinking will know what it is that i'm talking about but this little voice that i talk to is kind of like my alter ego so to say it's like a version of mari that i don't really like showing but i like talking to her because she's the only person i know who isn't going to judge me for what i want to say or how i feel but the problem with that is uh she's kind of mean about some stuff and when i don't take care of myself or do any of that like type of self-care that i had talked about earlier this version of Mari likes to come out a lot more. I think you've seen her a couple of times on some of these videos. <laughs> and so, when I'm having bad days, it's really hard to keep this version of Mari. So to say, I, I don't know how else to describe her. Um, it, it's really hard to keep this version locked away and contained where she belongs. And I can feel like a part of my brain getting all clouded and foggy this is like what they call brain fog for some people who might be neurodivergent out there and when it happens like do you remember how i mentioned earlier about the spiraling staircase well it kind of feels like the stairs get changed into this vortex and i get trapped in this like whirlwind of negativity and the problem with these vortexes is that i start to self-sabotage myself more and it really does feel like everything is bad and the whole world is ending and the most embarrassing and like crazy thing about all that is usually what starts these bad days is something very seemingly insignificant that had happened in that day but here's the thing about that to any neurotypicals out there watching this that one insignificant thing that caused me to have a bad day isn't just an isolated instance. What actually happened was many small insignificant things had happened to me over the course of several days or even a week. And unlike everyone else who are able to just let these situations go and just forget about it, you know, stop being sad and just being awesome. My brain doesn't like to do that. Remember that other Mari that I mentioned? 
Yeah, um... She has a really great memory, and sometimes she likes to remind me of everything that had happened in a single week by showing me a laundry list of those insignificant things. And when you start to think about everything all together, that stress can add up. And so going back to that one seemingly insignificant thing that caused this entire bad day to officially happen... Because I have had people in the past when I talked to them about this, they're like, why do you let like these, this one thing get to you? Like, why is it such a big deal? Well, it's because it ended up being like the final straw that ended up causing like all that alchemation of just very minor things to just build up. And this is what I meant by like me lacking in self-care and not just taking care of myself better and paying attention to my needs. Part of self-care is being able to voice something that is bothering you. Whether that be to a friend, a family member, a therapist, or even writing in a journal, or maybe drawing, or just something. Something to kind of like let out that negative energy. Of course, you don't want to like put that negative energy onto somebody else. That's not fair to them. But you know how like you have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with a friend they're in the right mental headspace to like listen to that and to help you and some some people they need to just vocalize what it is that is bothering them other people like me like to just kind of draw or you write or sometimes you know i make videos like this where i just kind of talk about stuff that's on my mind <laughs> and sadly i don't really have a lot of like stuff like that besides journaling and like what i had just said and I realized that um, I hadn't journaled in almost a month now. And I think that in itself added on to my stress because a lot of these things, when I look at them individually, they, they really aren't that big of a deal. But they were a big deal to me, at least during that time when those things had happened. And what might not seem so significant to you could be very significant to somebody else you don't know because you're not in their headspace you don't know what it is that's going on in their mind and what i should have done was journal i should have like journaled it down released those negative thoughts so that way the other mari doesn't come lurking out of places she shouldn't be but i didn't and i think that ended up being why i just I just had a bad day today. Today sucked. And even though in the grand scheme of things, it really wasn't that bad. It was just a shitty day. It just, it really got to me. It got to me so bad that like, I had a very difficult time climbing out of that. And I almost didn't upload a video because of it. I think if you're someone like me who also struggles with having bad days, then I really recommend reaching out to your friends or at the very least writing it down or i have this little like audio recorder i keep with me it's i got it's like a sony it's, it's a very cheap like sony audio recorder and i keep this with me all the time because sometimes um whenever i just have like a thought whether it's like a fun video idea or i'm just really like peeved off by like a customer or something at the boba shop like, I'll take it and I'll just record whatever, like, thing I want to, and I'll just, like, yeah, 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 and, like, whatever, and, and, done, and be done with it. If I want to listen back to it, then okay. If it was something that I was just, like, I got my frustrations out, I'll just delete it after. Because sometimes just talking it out can really help. Um, It took me all day today to come out of this bad mental health space that I was in. And the only reason why I was able to break out of it was because, well, my roommate spent several hours trying to cheer me up after I got home and I was working. I was like all stressed out and like they, they've lived with me long enough to kind of know like... It, <laughs> they, I, I hate them. They always know when I'm when I'm having a mood swing or I'm like upset or if I'm hungry. I hate that they know me so well. They're stupid and they're bakas, but they know me so well. But anyways, <laughs> no, I, I love my roommates. They're amazing. But um, you know what's kind of funny? 
Um, okay. You want to know what helped snap me out of it? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let me take some of my gamer steps real quick. Hold on. <laughs> Okay, so what helped snapped me out of it was that one of them told me I was being a bitch. Okay, wait, that sounds really bad out of context. Okay, okay. I kind of was being a bitch, but, but that doesn't... <laughs> they didn't actually mean to say that. What they had meant to say was something else, but that had came out instead and like the way they had delivered calling me a bitch was in such a comedic way and it was in no way shape or form meant to be like an insult like they had like pause and they were like they were like mari you're being such a a bitch <laughs> just <laughs> like it was it was just a joke between us and that made me laugh so hard that <laughs> I think me physically laughing is what helped break that mental spiraling that I was having all day. But honestly, I I didn't <laughs> Look, I didn't think I was going to be able to upload anything today. I was really struggling getting myself to sit down and record even though I have so many video scripts and I finally have editors that I really like working with and they're just waiting for me to send over my recordings and I and I just couldn't I literally just I, I couldn't it has been like just two days I was just being a sad girl just a sad little little sad girl and I had just felt so bad that I just wanted to like self-sabotage my daily uploads because fuck that Mari you know she sucks you know right but yeah, me physically laughing made me feel so much better because as crazy as it might seem, I actually don't laugh a lot. I don't. And if you can make me laugh, then that means you're actually making me happy because I am like the happiest when I'm laughing. And part of that self-care I mentioned earlier is making sure you're doing things that make you happy and not holding on to these negative emotions. And because I'm feeling better, I thought, you know, instead of uploading the video I originally wanted to upload today, I should upload that tomorrow and then instead today, I should make a video vlogging and talking about my experience. Because, you know, I thought about this. Who, like... Maybe, maybe me talking about this could bring some peace of mind for anyone else who might be having a bad day. And if you like this kind of content where I just kind of casually play like a game and just kind of like, just talk about stuff that's on my mind, it doesn't have to necessarily be VTubing related per se, but it is kind of like related because, well, I am a VTuber and like, you know, you always get to see one side of Mari uh, for the most part but yeah sometimes there just are days where I struggle and I feel like as a content creator I'm sure there are other people out there who probably also struggle with this and I hope me talking about this could bring some peace of mind for anyone else who's having a bad day because I know what it feels like to have a bad day I I really do. And once you find the right kind of self-care and stop self-sabotaging yourself, you'll come to realize that everyone has bad days. But for every bad day, there will be many, many great days waiting for you. Just remember to take care of yourself and learn to laugh more. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, and remember, everything reminds you of something. I'll see you all tomorrow with the video I was going to originally upload, okay? Bye-bye!